Now, We 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, Grace, you have said all morning it's going to be a nice, sunny day, beautiful day. Yes. I'm very excited about it, you know. Oh, I am too. It's going to be perfect, and I think it's so funny that it falls on Groundhog Day that we're yep. going to be feeling like spring. So don't get too excited. The <laughs> first several weeks of February will be warm. The last two will be a little bit colder than average. But at least for today, we could hardly ask for better yep. weather. Take a look at what you can see as you step out the door first thing this morning. Cold and just 31 degrees in Fort Payne, 36 in Decatur, and 35 in Haleyville. Now, if you're anything like me, this kind of throws you for a loop. I mean, we've been in the 20s the last several days, so 39 degrees in Huntsville feels practically like spring already. But I'll tell you, it's not. I was chilly this morning, and I even brought my wool coat, so you should too. It's going to be cold out there, and we do have the slightest hint of a breeze, so still make sure you bundle up. Decatur, where it's greater, looking lovely on the Way 31 Skycam Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. No frost and no fog in this forecast this morning, so you're good to go. Those conditions are not in the forecast today. 448 on 31 triple Doppler on your Friday morning and conditions are completely dry. Now they'll stay this way for the next several days, but then when the rain does return, well, let's just say when it rains, it pours. As we get through the rest of the morning, our temperatures will gradually cool and then warm up again. We've talked about this several times, but six o'clock in the morning or thereabouts, that's your coldest part of the day. It's when we've been cooling all night long, right before the sun starts to rise. That's when we're the coldest, which is why our temperature is decreasing there. However, once that sun does rise, any cloud cover that's remaining overnight will get out of our way, and then the sun really warms us up. By 9 a.m., we're already sitting in the mid-40s. And just hang on to your hat, because by 3 p.m., we're sitting in the upper 60s. That's when the spring-like temperatures really come into the forecast. So plan to open up the windows today, take the dog on an extra walk today, or take the kids to the park after school. It is the perfect day to be out and about and soak up this weather. I'll go ahead and tell you today, Friday is the best weather day of the week that we're going to have. Saturday though, not too bad either. A little bit cooler sitting at 63, but still a mix of clouds and sunshine with primarily sunshine. So if you have any outdoor chores to do, if you were interested in planting anything, well, Saturday's your day to do it. Sunday, not so much. That's the day when it rains, it pours. 47 degrees is your high temperature. All that change coming from a cold front. That cold front bringing torrential rain to the region from sunup to sundown, and even from before sunup to well after sundown. By the time we get to 6.30 in the morning on Sunday, scattered rain is taking over many of our counties south and west. It continues to track north and east throughout the later morning and into the afternoon. So. If you're headed out Sunday morning for church, for brunch, or even for lunch, make sure you're bundled up. Plan to have a rain jacket in that outfit for, uh, plan because you're going to need it. The rain stays with us heavy at times, but I don't want you to be scared or nervous by the yellow you're seeing. That is just torrential rain. It is not thunderstorms. There is nothing about this system that's severe, but it is going to bring plenty of good old-fashioned rain to the Tennessee Valley. It stays with us well into the overnight hours and then even is with us a little bit on Monday morning. So at 6 a.m. when you wake up, Monday, many of us should expect to have a soggy morning commute to work. At that point, the rain is not quite as widespread, plus it's a little bit lighter, but it's still definitely in the forecast and you're going to want your umbrella. The good news is by about 10, 11 a.m., that rain is all out of our system and it stays that way for the next several days. Temperatures significantly more even keel next week than we saw this week. That roller coaster ride is not translating over. We're hanging out in the upper 50s and the low 60s for the rest of the work week, plus we've got plenty of sunshine. Tuesday, Wednesday, and even on Thursday. Well, I'm definitely going to be soaking up the nice sunny temperatures and, you know, conditions of the next two days because I will be driving in the rain all day on Sunday. So. Oh, isn't that exciting? Well, yeah, there you so go. Great. Bring your sunglasses today and just soak up all the sun while you can. Exactly. Thanks, Grace. <laughs>